yet what prompt to break a seal so shan and so say a hard ye we election headquarters ye far but to ne 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 na who see see ye to a yet to we no aha and ye decline cocro muti power and none else or the two abano. Na ye call man penny and drunk or kufuado and nay can name Russia be journey and not with the more man for a while blue kuma west a Teresa a mele tego na uhe mama meno no water so some Russia be journey or boy juma na we free moon fear duni. Enti dansuman run about on a one more ayen kawi dumbia a yenu funi no mude a siho and ne a kopa hontu mamma penny and in summer who do be a tuja. We met here today on a sad but joyous occasion. Sad because we've come to remind ourselves of the passage of a, a colleague. who was a valiant member of our struggle for freedom and democracy in Ghana. Emily Tego was a politician of the first rank. She founded the women's wing of the NPP. And she was a vibrant member of the New Patriotic Party right until her untimely death. She served President Kufour's government with zeal and enthusiasm. And it's all that that we remember. Remember a woman who was determined to break through the ceiling and the glass barrier and make it clear that women had as strong a contribution to make to the public life of our country as any man. But it is also a happy occasion because we are being, we're being reminded by the ceremony of today that if you live a life of contribution, a life of participation, a life of assistance to your community, your community will not forget you. And I'm very happy that this woman that I've known since I was a young boy, we met at the University of Ghana very, very long time ago. She helped me with one or two women friends of hers when we were in Lego. So she always had a soft spot in my heart. But I'm so happy that I've lived to see this monument to her memory and to her sacrifice and to her work. A shining example of what is possible for each and every one of us if we stay, we stay true to our beliefs and we make the contribution that the good Lord has given us our portion. I'm happy to hear the sentiments of her son, of a son who recognizes the quality of her, an exceptional mother. All I can say is that today means that Teresa Amenetego, we will never ever forget her. Amen.